Hey everyone and welcome back to the Dubai Expat YouTube channel. I hope you're all well and I'm happy to see you back to my new video. So guys, I think I teased you long enough and I can finally reveal my latest purchase for the watch collection. This watch is also the most expensive watch that I have ever bought and it is the Rolex Datejust 36mm reference 126233 with the new golden fluted motive dial. The regular viewers of my channel will know that I am lusting for a two-tone Datejust since I started buying luxury watches. I always liked the champagne dial on Jubilee bracelet and fluted bezel but somehow couldn't pull the trigger until now. When Rolex released the new fluted dial I knew this will be my first two-tone watch and once I got the chance to buy one I didn't think twice. Congratulations. Thank you. The availability of this model in the region is still quite okay and if you are lucky you can find them in the display. So there wasn't that much of a wait for me. As the Rolex availability is getting more critical, I think this can change soon. My initial expectation was to see more Datejust in the display again, as I heard rumors that Rolex would be increasing the production. But somehow we are not feeling that yet. This watch is sporty and elegant at the same time. The 36mm size is comfortable for both men and women. The Rolex Datejust formed the brand's image like no other watch from the lineup. Shown in many movies like Wolf of Wall Street. And then precisely seven and one half minutes after that you're gonna bring us two more. Then American they will Psycho. Just the Earth just opens up and swallows them. Or in the series Narcos, this watch formed an image of wealth and success in life, but could also symbolize greed and abundance for the dark side. Whichever side you choose, this watch will never let you down and keeps on ticking for many many years. And so I am incredibly happy to be an owner of this insanely epic watch. I am sure it will bring me joy and hopefully a bit of success for the years to come. And with that, take a coffee guys and enjoy the full review and unboxing we are going to do now. The watch comes in the classic white Rolex cardboard box with the embossed crown at the top. Inside we find the green Rolex watch box. And here is the watch guys. The 36mm two-tone Rolex Datejust. Inside the box we find the user manual. The warranty manual. The warranty card with reference and date of purchase. Four extra links that were removed to fit the watch to my wrist size. The superlative chronometer seal. The hang tag with reference number. And the price tag of 47,790 dirham or around $13,000 that I paid for the watch. And here is the beautiful watch. The case diameter is 36 mm. The case height around 11 mm and the lug to lug distance is 43 mm. The bracelet starts at 20 mm. The weight of the watch is 131 grams with the shortened bracelet and 143 grams with all links. To set the movement you unscrew the crown and give it a good wind until you see the second hand running. Pull out the crown one more step to set the date and 
and pull out the crown one more time to set the time. Afterwards screw the crown back in and the watch is ready to go. Simple and easy process. One of the highlights of this watch is the dial which comes with the new golden fluted motif. The dial shows a geometric fluted pattern that mirrors the fluted bezel. This pattern lays on a sunburst dial and is created via femtosecond laser which shoots bursts of ultra short laser pulses onto the dial for a change of the surface. This new pattern on the dial reflects light into various angles similar to the bezel and matches it perfectly. The lettering and minute indices are done in a fine black glossy paint. Our indices are made of yellow gold, applied and filled with loom. The crown at 12 o'clock is made of yellow gold as well. The bezel is another Rolex signature feature of this watch. Originally this design was used to screw the bezel onto the case. Today it is more of an aesthetic element and gives the watch a lot of bling. The bezel is made of yellow gold as well. The watch case is made of stainless steel. Crown and bezel are yellow gold. And the bracelet has a combination of yellow gold for the three inner parts and stainless steel for the outer parts, what creates this typical two-tone design. The five-piece Jubilee bracelet is super comfortable, hides scratches very well and looks awesome. The clasp features three micro adjustment positions and an easy extension for hot and humid days. Within seconds you can expand the bracelet by 5 mm. The watch is 100 meter water resistant, shock proof, has a scratch resistant sapphire crystal with a cyclops lens for better legibility of the date. Inside the watch we find the caliber 3235 which runs at minus 2 to plus 2 seconds a day after casing. It features center hour, minute and seconds hand, rapid date setting, second stop, 70 hours of power reserve and winds bidirectional via a perpetual rotor. A first wrist shot. A loom shot inside at daytime and a loom shot at nighttime. And now it is time for the watch score. So the watch dimensions are overall small and I think people with a wrist of 7 inch or above could find this watch a bit small. The case is 100 meter waterproof while we speak about the watch with a lot of yellow gold. The bezel is a unique highlight and in yellow gold even better. The movement runs super precise and has a strong 70 hours power reserve. The bracelet is one of the best in the market, but for the daily usage this watch might be a bit too blingy and shiny. I think you must be in a certain position to be able to wear this watch every day, even in Dubai. This piece is definitely made for, uh, for the weekend or for special occasions. For the sportive usage I would prefer any other piece without gold and a better legibility for sure. Image and history are great for the two-tone datejust. You will certainly have a piece people will immediately recognize all around the world and the brand recognition is as good as it can be. Value for money is a tad below the normal datejust as $13,000 are certainly not a bargain. All of that together gives the watch a total score of 73, which positions the two-tone Datejust on the same level as its counterpart in white gold. So guys, this was the presentation of my new toy, the epic two-tone Datejust 36mm. I think one of the best purchases in 2021 and I can finally tick that box from the list. Drop me a comment what you think about the watch, do you agree with the watch score and how do you like two-tone watches in general. Thank you for watching, stay healthy and bye bye.
I'm touch the watch. 